Hey, Cameron here with the Sea Butters channel. Now you may notice that the video and audio sounds a little bit different from my normal videos, and that is because we are recording this video entirely on the Surface Pro 9. Now we're talking about the Intel version because the 5G has uh, some AI tricks that maybe make the audio quality a little bit better than what we're seeing. But if you were curious on how well the Intel a version of the Service Pro 9 picks up video and audio. You're looking at it right now. And that brings us to our sponsor, EaseUS Rec Experts. And their software is what I'm using to record this video right now. Uh, Rec Experts is a really cool uh, piece of software that lets you do lots of different things, uh, whether that's recording capture from a game uh, or recording a podcast or just collecting video like I am right now from the webcam and the audio. And uh, they have lots of little features in this program that I'm going to show you and walk you through how to use. But it can do so many different things all the way down to recording uh, video uh, off of online platforms very easily. And that's the cool thing about the software is uh, it's, it's not confusing. They, they really have a cool layout that uh, lets you see easily and quickly uh, what you want to be doing. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through that, but as we're doing that, you'll be able to see uh, the quality of the camera on the Surface Pro 9 and the audio that's picking up as well, all coming from the Surface Pro 9. So stay tuned. I'm going to walk you through the EasyUS Rec Expert software so you can take a look. Um, if you're interested, I'll have uh, links in the description below. And uh, so sit back and I'll show you how to use this really cool software. Okay, so when you first open the Rec Experts program, uh, you have a few options here on the left hand side. Uh, the first one is screen capture, and we'll go through all the features in each of the individual sections in just a minute. But as an overview of what's in here, you also have record audio, you also have record a game. And there's also just re straight up record your webcam. And also there is record online video from uh, several different sites. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk first about the video capture suite that we see here. Now, by default, uh, you can just use full screen. And you can see I've enabled my webcam, which is putting me up in the top right. And you can actually position that wherever you want, which is super useful uh, when you're recording things. Um, <clears throat> so uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the webcam options. You can choose you know, whether you want to be recording on the front, whether you want to be recording on the rear webcam, which I don't necessarily want <laughs> uh, right now, at least. Um, you also have options to record the system sound. So if you're if you have a web page going on in the background uh, that's making noise, you can choose to record that sound as well. Or you can not record system sound. Um, and there's also some advanced options for your audio settings in here. Uh, what you want to use for your microphone, um, a sound check, uh, and there's a micro microphone noise reduction and microphone boost. Now, um, I did a little test. So to, to look at previous recorded audio, we're going to go to the recordings tab. And this in and of itself is actually really cool. It separates uh, clips into these filters. So you have all your recordings uh, by in the all section, and then you can look at just your videos or you can look at just your audio. Uh, so I did some quick samples here. Now, this is the sample that does not have any microphone effects. Let's take a listen. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And now this is the sample that actually has effects applied. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So it uh, has some built-in uh, Noise reduction built in, which is really cool um, since we don't get the, the cool chip on the Intel version. Uh, we can do a little bit of that in software. So that microphone boost is a little useful too to be able to pick up um, the audio in the background. Um, 
I find the Surface microphones are just a tiny bit tinny, not bad, uh, but obviously you're hearing it for yourself right now and can make your own uh, judgment on the audio quality. So uh, really cool features here. You can also choose region. So if you wanted to just record one section or one window, you can do it that way. Um, and then once you've chosen your region, you can see they, they tell you what the, the shortcut keys are for using this. So you can take screenshots by tapping F11. Great for screen captures uh, for people who are maybe creating documentation or uh, just in general uh, wanting to screen capture their video in image format. While you can also hit F9 to start a real video recording, F10 to pause that and resume it. So it's neat that they, they really have thought this out and make things really easy to use and easy to use hotkeys because you can, they're telling you right on screen. Sometimes you have to dig through the menu uh, to find what, what the hotkeys actually are, um, but not, not in this software. It, they make things really easy. Uh, you can also choose to auto split your files um, and there's also task scheduler. So that's really cool too. Um, if you know that something's going to be happening or want to record uh, what what is happening on the device at certain times, you can do that and have it kick off automatically. So really feature rich here. Let's go into the record audio section. Now here you're getting a preview of the audio that's coming out along with system sound output. You can choose to include the system sound or not. And you have the same options here for audio that you had for video. Uh, you can schedule uh, when to be recording uh, uh, audio at a certain time. So um, that's that's pretty useful. The auto stop, when you stop talking, it will stop recording. So that's a neat feature as well. Let's move down into the game capture section because there are some cool features in here, uh, very similar to screen capture. But what this lets you do is you can choose either uh, a game process or a game window. And if you have a game open, it will only record what's on that particular window or only record a particular process on your machine. So that is really uh, cool to have available. So here we are in Minecraft, uh, just testing uh, how well we're able to record video. There's a lot going on here. Uh, the Surface Pro 9 is having to handle uh, A, interposing the webcam, running the game and recording the screen all at the same time. And the fact that it's actually working and working well is a testament to all those extra cores that we have on this machine, but also uh, that the Rec Experts program is efficient enough to handle uh, all of these things all at once, uh, which is great. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's not, hasn't stuttered or given me hiccups uh, so far using it. So I have seen that in other capture uh, software, but this is seriously simple to use and running great. So that's awesome. And uh, let's keep keep moving on. Uh, you've seen me uh, do a webcam uh, capture already in the intro of this video, uh, but you have all sorts of options here. You can choose the resolution. You can rotate it 90 degrees. Um, you even have chroma cutout. So if you put a green screen behind you, uh, you have the capability to block yourself out, uh, which can make you look like you're in a different location. Um, so that's really interesting. Uh, if you look at the instruction, it gives some tips there on how to make sure that uh, it, it works well for you. So, and that's, I mean, if, if you've ever played with Chroma Cutout in any like video editing software, like <clears throat> it can get difficult. Yes, I know on Zoom it does uh, like even without a background, but it doesn't look super great either. Um, but this is the software that it looks the easiest to use. You, you simply one toggle, choose your background that you want it to show, and it's going to do the rest for you. All right, guys. So I'm going to hurry and, and show you how easy it is to to work with this this green screen so I just have like this total impromptu green sheet uh, that I've put up and I'm going to show you uh, how we can utilize this uh, to get a good looking uh, masking so here we go 
Okay guys, so believe it or not, I am not on the beach in Hawaii. But you can see how quickly and easily uh, this chroma cutout and sampling works on the software. Uh, so, you know, I need to adjust the lighting so I don't get as much uh, green reflections on myself, but this literally was set up in 30 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, works pretty well. Um, and if you get brighter lights on the front of you so the green isn't reflecting, uh, it would look pretty dang good. So, pretty impressive stuff. So, that's really neat. Let's go ahead and go back out of the web recording section. Um, let's also take a peek at the overall options that we have in this software. So you can choose where to record your videos. You can also record uh, the output. And look how many output options you have here. So you can also you can record animated GIFs, which is really cool. That's what I'm saying. Like they just included everything and it's so simple to use. It's really neat. You can do MOV, FLV, MKV, AVI, and GIF. Um, you can choose your quality. Um, right now I'm recording in original and it seems to do pretty well with that as you saw in the intro. Uh, frame rate, I put at 60. I like to record in 60. It seems more alive and natural. Uh, default on this was 24. Uh, probably for those lower end computers, uh, so it wouldn't struggle when they try to use it, but uh, you can definitely up it to 60, no problem. You can go higher, you can go up to 120, 144. I mean, that's that's really cool. Uh, there's just, every feature is there and it's simple to use. So, um, whoops, we're flipping around. Okay, in the video section, we talked about that. Audio as well. Uh, you can choose what audio and bit rate. I bumped everything up a little bit higher just so we wouldn't get any compression artifacts as you're looking at things. Um, in the uh, audio section, you have a little countdown. And uh, so whenever you record on the webcam or the audio, when you first hit record, it gives you like a little record button with a countdown, three, two, one, before it starts recording. So you can get ready, you can get posed, you know, just helps you reduce on those editing times. Um, and you can choose to turn that on or off if you don't like that. And uh, got some options there uh, well, for recording, uh, whether you want to enable GPU hardware acceleration, which I didn't notice that one when I went through this initially. I probably should have enabled that, but it seems to be doing just fine even on pure CPU. Um, but, but the feature's there. Hotkeys, you can adjust those here. We talked about the F9, F10, F11. And there's also this F8, which lets you show the overlay information while you're game recording. Okay, and that game overlay information will show you frame rate, remaining storage space, recording duration, file size, and the hotkeys. So that's really interesting. Uh, start, you can choose to let this launch at startup. Like I said, if you're using this to record at a certain time, whether that's your audio or video you wanna be recording, um, you can make it so even if the computer reboots, it's going to launch at startup, it's going to be ready to go for you in the background. Okay, and then this final option is whether when you hit the X, if it's going to exit the program or if it's going to minimize to the system tray. And it'll actually ask you every time, which is useful because sometimes you just want to get it out of the way, but you're going to use it later. And sometimes you want to just completely close out. So um, that is the ease us rec experts software overview uh, in a nutshell okay guys so i hope this was useful uh, for you as a uh, surface pro 9 interested people uh or if not only in the surface pro 9 you're just interested in some video capture and uh i actually had a lot of fun making that look i've got my window to hawaii at back there in the background uh because <laughs> i'm still running the rec experts software on this machine. Uh, so uh, keep in mind, however good your audio is, is how well it will turn up. Uh, but we, to do the test on the Surface Pro 9, are using the uh, dual, -ray can or dual ray microphones on the Surface Pro 9 right in the screen here. So uh, anyways, I uh, hope this is useful to you. If you're interested in taking a look at the Rec Expert software, take a look at the link in the description. Thanks to those guys uh, for sponsoring this video, and we will see you on the next one.